Michael J. Fox, 61, is best known for his central role in the Back to the Future franchise and is currently busy promoting his new documentary, Still. The Canadian-born actor was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease at the age 29 and chose to keep it secret for a number of years. He hopes his new documentary, Still, reveals the difficulties he must grapple with daily, with Michael admitting he was hesitant at first to do so. Michael also admitted to being freaked out to see the realities of his condition in the documentary, having hidden it for so many years. Speaking at a press conference, Michael admitted that before working on the project, he had no idea how frequently he fell over or his face drooped. The Teen Wolf actor was asked as reported by Far Out, You've always been public about your struggles with Parkinson's, but was there anything in this film you were more hesitant to reveal about living with your condition? Michael replied, I don't know if I was hesitant to reveal it. But when I saw it, it was shocking to me, I understand the idea of my face going blank or lacking expression, I don't always know what I look like. That doesn't bother me, but it's a shock when you see it. People say, I saw you stumbling in the room, falling over, it was really shocking. Like, you were shocked? It freaked the ST out of me. I didn't expect to fall over the furniture. Michael also shared that it's his family that affects him most, knowing what they have been through. He shares Sam, 33, Aquina, 28, Skylar, 28, and Esme, 21, with his wife of 30 years, Tracy Pollen. Michael continued, What most affects me when I watch it is not all the tragedy and struggle and conflict, it's my family. Sayer Khan explains reason for leaving GB News, latest, Mark Owen unrecognizable in coronation concert appearance, pics, Britney's tell-all book delayed as Hollywood stars run to lawyers, comment, it's these people who are beautiful, funny, they keep me alive, they keep me connected, and they're so smart and grounded, and my wife is a miracle, and that was a big thing for me, seeing that. It's my life. It's so real, and it's how much I count on those people and how much they deliver for me, and how my relationship with them is from my honesty. They've no real reason to be anything but open with what I say because I've never lied to them. The LA premiere of Still, a Michael J. Fox movie was supposed to take place today, however, it has been postponed because of the main subject's refusal to cross a Writers Guild ticket line. Actress Justine Bateman tweeted out the news, reading, got this email, re, the cancellation of it rel Mike Fox's film's LA premiere. I text Mike asking about it. Of course, it's cancelled because it was going to be at Universal and Mike refuses to cross the hashtag WGA picket line. The writer's strike began last week when more than 11,000 members of the WGA downed tools after talks with major studios broke down. The union is seeking higher minimum pay, more writers per show, and a greater share of the royalties for shows that can now appear on streaming platforms for many years, as well as assurances around the use of artificial intelligence. Still, a Michael J. Fox movie is set to arrive on Apple TV Plus on May 12th.